Welcome to our ADM Lucid automation testing channel. We will have a series of talk about Selenium automation testing, which will help you better understand the basics of Selenium and also guide you to build your own Selenium automation project. You may access our test project and guide in the description below. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for any new videos and updates. In today's video, we will test for color on a web page. So let me explain what I mean. So sometimes we want to validate the color of web elements as part of our testing. For example, on a website, we may want a warning message to be in red or a button to be a certain color. For example, a delete button could be red, a create button could be blue, and so on. So Selenium 4 actually has a color class, which can allow us to use Selenium to validate the color of web elements. So in today's video, we wrote some code to validate some colors. So within our code, there's a few things we wanted to test for. So this is our web page. So under golf courses, one thing we wanted to test for was in this field, we wanted to test that this create button was blue and also that these warning messages come up as red. Another thing we wanted to test for is we wanted to go to our home page and we wanted to test for whether this icon right here is actually black. And finally, one thing we wanted to test for is we wanted to test for a delete button. So in order to do that, we had to first log in and then we had to go to golf courses and then we have to search up the golf course that we want to test for. So in our case, it'd be test two and we want to test for this delete button, not that one, but this delete button to be red. So let me show you uh, the code that we have for this. So again, right here under the controller package, we added a class called color. And in this color class, let me just make this a little bit more presentable. Uh, the first thing we had to do was we had to import selenium.support.color. And this is the color class that allows us to test for color on a web element. So under this class, we have a few different methods to test for each of those different colors that we mentioned earlier. So first, let's go down to here. Uh, I want you to bring to your notice that we actually had to define a few colors first. For example, we define blue as having these RGBA elements and defining red as having these RGBA elements, uh, deep red, yellow, and black. And these colors, we all define ourselves. If you have trouble knowing what RGBA elements your color has, uh, you can just go online and find a tool and it'll, it'll convert it really easily for you. But the first thing we tested for, so this is the method book golf class, uh, book golf course. And in this method, we are testing for the, the book and golf course. So if you come down to here, uh, this one just automatically fills in the, uh, the form that we showed you earlier and then I think it leaves a few items in the form blank and so afterwards what we do is we enter uh, the we, we click the button we click create and actually a few elements there should be given you should be given a few warnings and those warnings we're testing if they're red so we actually do it by doing this statement so we try to do uh, so we create a color instance and using the color class, uh, we grab the element uh, by ID, the customer error, and then we grab the CSS value for color. And what we do is after we grab that, we see if that color that we grabbed is equivalent to the color that we defined earlier. And in our case, if it is, then we get the statement. And if it isn't, then we get a pass, uh, then we get a failure statement. And we use a try catch statement in case there's any errors or exceptions that happen during this process. So that is where the customer error pop up. But we also have the same thing for an email pop up where this warning message uh, you get where when you don't fill out those forms. Uh, and as well, there's an email error pop up here. And they all do essentially the same thing. We grab the color using the color class by finding its uh, class ID element, and then we grab the CSS value color uh, right here. 
Next, we also want to test for, uh, oh yeah, and, and also I wanna to bring to your notice that this final one, we, we test if it's blue because we are grabbing its uh, the create button, which was originally blue on the web page. Next, we look at the method picture color. And this essentially was where I showed you on the home page where we have that black icon. We want to see if that icon was actually black. And so to do that, we uh, basically find the XPath value of that icon right here. And then again, we use the class to grab the color property. And then we see if it's equal to black. And then if it is, we get these statements. And if it isn't, we get some other statements. And also there's the delete golf course one where we have that delete button, which was supposed to be red. And in that one, we see that before we actually do that, you must be logged into the account. So we actually had to uh, do a bunch of commands so that we would log into the, uh, into the account and then direct ourselves to that delete button. So that's what this is doing here. And then basically using this uh, color class again, we look for the delete button and we find it by its XPath value. And then we get its uh, background color. Uh, we get its background color value instead this time, which is, um, which is because the delete button, the text is white, but the, black, the background in the uh, box is red. So we grab that instead. And then we see if it's equal to, this time we use a color called deep red because the color is slightly different. And then we see if that works out. So this is under the controller package. And to test this, we have a class under the test package uh, right here, uh, right here called color underscore edge. And in this one, we test or we run for each of them. So I'm just gonna bring us to here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run this. So we'll give it some time to run and we see that there's these red pop-ups that come up for that first one that we're testing for. We see that it brings us to this page with a black icon so we can retrieve the black icon. And then we see that it does a bunch of things uh, right here. So you have to log in first and then you have to find the golf course that you want to test for. And then we see that it brings us to the delete button that we want to test if it's red. Uh, so in this, in this instance uh, right here, we made it so that after it's finished testing, it doesn't automatically close the browser. And the reason we did that is because I, I just want to show you that each of the things that we're testing for. So we see that uh, it's finished running. So uh, I can actually go ahead and I can close these individual ones. So this one's testing for that red one and the green bu uh, blue button. Uh, and I'll just close each one of those uh, edge windows. And for this one, instead of having to go to the console up here, we actually saved it into a separate folder here. And in this folder, basically it tells us about our tests. So all three tests passed. It tells us each of the expected steps. So for instance, uh, for this one, it says the expected color was this RGBA value and the actual color we got with this RGBA value and so on. And that's what we got. So let me actually show you what happens if there is an error. So I can go back to my color class here and then I can go, let's for instance, let me change this one. Let me change this uh, to, let me change this to black. So what if, uh, we, what we expect is black, but it's actually not black. And I actually have to change down here too because this is the value that we wanted. So black right here. So let's say that's black and it's not supposed to be black. And let's say that this black one is supposed to be red, uh, but it's actually not red. So let's see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And I'm gonna run this again. So we'll give it some time to run. It's just going through each of those methods, three separate tests.
And now, so it's got to the final one. Uh, let me just confirm that it's completed. Yeah, so it's completed. I can close each of these edge windows again. And now I can go back to this one and open this up. And as expected, we had two tests that failed because we changed some of the values. So for example, uh, in this one that failed right here, uh, we, we, uh, this is one of the ones that we changed. So it was supposed to be a different color, but uh, we got the wrong color. Uh, and also, we also see that this one failed as well right here, and we got the wrong color as well. So those two changes that we, uh, we, we added to that thing afterwards, uh, to our code afterwards, um, it caused these failures. And so, yeah, so uh, we have the, again, we have the code in the description below. If you want to try it out for yourself, uh, feel free to download it from our webpage, and then you can try out this yourself and implement it into your own project. Uh, we hope you found this video a little bit helpful. Uh, if you liked the video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for any future videos. Thank you for listening.